your reaction to my movement can never be faster than my movement. Um, but just whatever you want to do. If I move first, I land first. So you have to see me move. Okay, so we're running about 200 feet a second. Okay, so that's it. But this movement's your first clue. If that's your first clue, you got to go with your eyes through your brain, make your decision, really slow things down. And then back out of the same 200 feet a second. Whatever that lag time is, what you're behind, you're going to stay behind. So these are these are tricks to get that gap as close as possible. So you start moving on the twitches. Almost everyone has you call them pre-assault cues. Very few people can punch here. Almost everyone comes back a little bit before they do. Move on that. You see that hip twitch. You move on that. You see that eye thing. Move on that. Don't wait until, oh, that is a fist. It's coming at my face. I can move it. That's slow. That's late. Okay. Does anyone still have trouble with falling out of the way to the side? It's, this is where we went up. That's the next thing is you're going to be dropping forward. That's why you need the insurance. First one, just get used to falling. And I'm just getting used to that. Trusting the technique. So I don't need the, I don't need the hand up. Matter of fact, I don't want the hand up. You're blocking on a direct side fall. You aren't trusting it. Once you start falling in, that can look really simple. I want to be good. Every so often, these little tiny old Okinawa guys come over here and they play with karate schools. I was watching them, it's what they were doing. The guy sent up, he's doing the lunch punch. This was a tutorial school. And he's, this is exactly what they were doing. This guy was going full force, full speed. He's going full force, full speed. And this 80 year old guy is behind him, perceptually twice as fast as he can be. His full, his full speed, with this guy's full speed in opposite direction, twice as fast as he can be. That's the. I can't see rap bass. That's what the little guys were doing. And it was. It was it looked like magic to all the people on the receiving end. And if I had been sitting there, you know, really thinking about it, never would have It was just too cool. And that's the technique they're doing a drop step entry. And it's and it's a class it's a classic move. It's not some new physical self defense reality based move. It's an old move, works great. So move up to the if you've been doing the fall to the side, I saw some of the guys are already doing the block and get close. So it comes in. Do this until you get a little bit of comfort with it, and then have them use different hands. As soon as it twitches, move, left the kick, let him use the other hand, and nothing changes. The thing with all entries, nothing changes. Nothing changes. All we're doing is I'm dropping slightly off. Don't think. <laughs> Never end with one technique. If the guy's not on the ground or the old samurai thing, if you don't see three feet of space between his head and his body, assume he's still a threat. That's the Iraqi. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that works for grenades too. But same idea. Play. Get in, close, finish. How to train these? You know how I won the fight? My <laughs> Very, very few people are going to like that one best. If you like that one best, the practice it. Um, second entry. Is that, I'm going to say the, the last one before. Second entry is the one that I do instinctively. It's not necessarily the simplest. You'll notice there's kind of that witchy toe in thing. I like that. I like that a lot. But it's whatever the twitch is, anything that moves. And it's an augmented block position. I just extend my fingers. I don't know whether it's necessary to do it. Be careful about poking each other in the throat and the eyes. But whatever the twitch is, there is the all car second when they're doing this, they do this. I'll hit you with this hand thing, a little subtle signal. Half Sandy's going to hit me with something. <laughs> Which, you know, I appreciate because it, it makes it all look better. But it doesn't matter. If he does other hand, if he does lay, same thing. As I'm closing, I'm choking. Okay. When these come in, if they come in good, and if it goes to the wrong side of the neck, it doesn't matter. 
Remember we were talking in the uh, ground fighting about that striking damp here? There's something real similar here with that form. That has a really fun effect on the brain. Little, little slaps of the triangle, and I don't know whether it's barrel receptors, but uh, it's a little really foaming. Be smooth, do it slow at first. Um, it's called being a professional. Yeah, and it's cool. <laughs> no, it works, it works great. Um, one of the things the big strong guys are going to have trouble because they're going to hit so hard, they're going to knock the guy back, and you're back in the re engagement distance. So do it smooth enough that he feels it here. This is this is where I'm going with this. It's, I like necks. I like twisting uh, Remember the stuff we were talking about with neck is exactly the same as a wrist. If it gets to that level, bend and twist is better than bend or twist. What? <laughs> all right. Um, practice, practice slow. This all of these are dangerous. Anything you do is dangerous. But this one, you're going open fingers very close to eyes and throats. So, do you get used to one hand forward? And it's same thing. Yeah. Should be one same hand. thing. You shouldn't have to think Could about. Could you do that throwing a left punch at him? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, yeah. No, I'm coming straight in the middle. Right. Yeah. Right. But the you one, get the one thing that this is vulnerable to is if you get someone that does a really funky circular Chinese style, oh. I'll still get whacked in the back of the head once. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Has everyone here been hit? Yeah? <laughs> okay, is anyone here dead? Is anyone here afraid of being hit? I mean, nobody likes it. But it's uh but it's not crippling, it's not impairing. Um this is an aside, this has nothing to do with what we're doing today. If you get hit, if you get shot, if you get stabbed and you know it, it's probably gonna be okay. That is no excuse to stop fighting. If you take a bullet in the heart, you're good for another 7 to 11 seconds. <laughs> okay. You can take the bastard with you. Um, unless it shuts down your brain stem, there is no excuse for giving up. One of the things that we found out in training, everyone wonders why criminals, you shoot them and shoot them and shoot them, and they run away and they climb fences, and then you finally catch them, you send them to the hospital, and they get better. He criminal. He shoots himself in the head because he's, he's surrounded. We had this happen about two years ago. He's surrounded, so he shoots himself in the head. He got better. Okay, you shoot a cop in the hand, he dies. Um, or he curls up in a ball. We finally figured out why. We're, we're good guys. We're good kids. And when you're a kid and you're playing bang, bang, you're dead, if you don't curl up and die, you're cheating. And good people don't cheat. Drugs cheat all the time. But that, that's a psychological thing that makes people go down. If you've been trained, if you've been trained to point sparring, <laughs> done this. It's like you take a hit. It's like, go ahead, take a hit. Now hit me. Boom. It's like, oh, that was a good one. Good. You know, oh. And it's like, and, and a criminal, you know, if, if you hit a criminal and he, you, or a criminal hits you and you back up and bow, he just keeps hitting you, just so you know. <laughs> it's you can't do that it's not over as long as you can it, well even if you can't breathe anymore you can fight with the wind knocked out you can fight with concussion it looks really funny and it's sloppy and it feels horrible but you can do it and there's no reason to stop as long as you're unconscious and half the time unconsciousness is imaginary anyway just so you know the whole thing of you get punched in the head and you fall asleep like on TV doesn't happen. If someone hits you hard enough in the head that you fall asleep, there's a whole bunch of other crap going on. So most of that is psychological too. And that's why you don't knock criminals out. It doesn't happen. And they knock us out because we have this little child grade school thing going. You get hit in the head, you fall asleep. We're still playing that game. We're locked into that mode. Okay, that was an aside. Do the entry. Can I have it for one second? Yeah. Does anybody think they can't do that particular technique? Has anybody ever seen that technique before? You can check. Phil caught it. Yeah. Right. Say son. Oh, shit. It's right for say son. Just before that. Yeah.
right at this, right in your safe side. That technique's already being used. So now you got a practical application. Isn't there a for drill it. that you do? I mean, in our style, I do this drill. No, that's a different Last check. Technique. No, this is in here. I that's cool. Cool. That, that's, that's, that's in that right thing. Come, come to the face. Well, that's coming in there with the elbow. Right. That's yeah. what I saw. That's right out of your safe son kind of. Everybody should be an expert at this one. Well, this yeah, I gotta learn this side. Yeah, we do that. When you ask the man, so they have these arm fixes, and you cannot hit him in the head. And you get the structure to tell you this position. This is that same kind of structure. No matter how strong you are, it's just like a boat cut through ice. Yeah, this is just like a boat cut through ice. And that's, that's what I'm doing. So it's, what it does, it works great on boxers, especially if they're up. And it splits their hands. Oh, it's the inside. You guys are inside fighters. So it's kind of really natural. But uh, we'll do one Two more answers. Why I went to the center. Did I answer that question? Or am I just... Yeah. The more hands you can stop. Right. Yeah. 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 The punch is going this way. <laughs> yeah, it was like. Did you miss it? Yeah, but it works. It's just the other way. Oh, that's Yeah. Good. You guys have to know about jamming kicks, right? You mean that one? Who's done the take one do thing? I need to take one doka. I'll come on a minute. In a minute, I know at least two of you done. No, no one wants to come out of the closet. No, that's not right. Okay, so give me a tall person with long legs. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, come on. Um, kicks can be screwed up by stepping in on them. Okay. You don't need to block him. You don't need to do anything. If your foot twitches, this is good kicking range for you. You get close to the wall. If her foot twitches, I close. It doesn't matter whether roundhouse hook, anything. I close. Okay, we're closing with this technique. That's all we're doing. So the foot twitches. Boom. Okay, kicks are are really really range specific. Yeah. Well. Uh, you can do the knee. Yeah. I, I do the do a nice chamber. Who's got a really good Kintetsu Gary? Kintetsu Gary. Gary. Through the joint. Blowing the knee out. Got a good one? Got that one on my knee. Doesn't work on top of the thigh, which is where it winds up if you close. It takes balance. So, yeah, but that, that answer your question about jamming kicks? Yeah. You don't you expect it. <laughs> okay, I am. But getting back to this entry, um, I need one other person. Okay. No, I need both of you. Okay, I'm talking to you. You're there. My modified club looks down like this. <laughs> okay, one of you move. I don't care which side, who moves, or how they move. I'm closing and blocking it. I don't have to think. That's the whole point of entries is don't have to think. Thinking takes time. Time gets you killed. All bad things happen in time. Bad things happen in time and in places. Over time or the place you're cool. Don't, you get hurt. So, did I convince everybody? There we go. Cool. Believe me, after all these days. <laughs> I just had a question. Yeah. Obviously, you got to modify this a little bit, too. To what? To, to depending where the punch is coming from. No. No? No. If you think about modifying, you're going to freeze. No, I wasn't thinking about it. I just walked in and I got clocked in the head. So you get clocked in I wanted to make sure if I was doing stuff. Yes. It's, well, it's it's not that. It, like this technique. I promised it would be a foolproof technique. No. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. Okay. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm not going with. There's no grail, right? It's, if you want to get philosophical, I will. Most people get into martial arts because they want to be safe. They want to believe that there's something that once I get to this belt or this level, I'll never get hurt again. Yeah, well, damn, you're wrong. As long as you play hard, you get hurt. If you get involved in bad things, you get hurt. Um, this is about percentage points. I cannot make anyone in here safe. 
I can make, well, okay, I could lock you in a lead box, put you in a room, and then be fed by a completely trustworthy person who eventually get tired of you and poison you through, through a slide. And that's about as safe as it gets. I can only make you safe without percentage points. The high percentage point payoffs are low percentage point payoffs. Try to increase them. Stakes are high enough, they're 2 or 3 percent. So, yes, you're going to get clocked. That technique? Suck against hooks. Okay. Except for the new clue. And that, it's not the arm that does it, it's the closing. The closing, the closing. These are safer ways to cross. This distance sucks. If I'm out here, I'm trying to fight from here, and he's trying to fight from here. This distance sucks. Okay, this is a fight. I don't like fights. Okay, so my goal is we're, if we're here, here, here. And if I wind up all twisted up, if I get punched coming in, Boom. And then I get to here. I'm still better. Finish things better from here. You guys are in fighters. That's why this works. This was a, a class where all of your techniques were in practice out here. This would not be good for you. This would suck for you. Okay, because you're gonna you would wind up here. Uh, what do I do now? Uh, uh, uh anything. Just stop. That's not gonna happen with this group. So I'm happy with it. Okay. The third entry, which will probably turn out to be almost everyone's favorite. It's simple. It's fun. It's called Dracula's Cape. Um, let's see why. It's, everything is exactly the same. The footwork's the same. The only thing is, no matter what he does, okay, I'm covering up. I'm putting my nose in there. And I'm popping with that as hard as I can. So when your size gets tall, guys, you're thinking about solar plexus. So about your own size, it seems to always land in the throat. They're a little short, stocky guys, catch them right between the eyes. It's <laughs> quick, and it's reliable, and it's got a funny name. <laughs> so, um, in practice, this is probably most people's favorite. This one's mine, and I don't know why. It's just that's the one I caught myself doing when I wasn't expecting things. Um, but a lot of people have chosen that one, so practice that one. Can you show that again? You want to get a little cool. Out here, some more people can see. It's, and it's the same thing. Kick, punch, right hand, left hand, it's all relative. Cover it up. I do this, I have that whole splitting the ribs. If I'm going to get hit in the ribs, I want them not to break. So that's, that's what I do. Don't do what's comfortable for you. Um, the toe is in on the lunge, so your groin's protected through the move. And even then, it's, it's really unlikely to get kicked. So it comes up, and then same as this entry, I can foil through the head, rip, tear, rip, just have a great time. It's fun. But since they're usually choking if this hits them in the throat, it's much easier. Easier to beat up someone who's already half unconscious. Really. Okay, practice. Rinse <laughs> But having one thing that you do when you're scared speeds things up. That's that one technique 100% before your adrenaline kicks in. It's a good high damage technique. Practice one more time and just, okay? And then look at what you have going back to follow ups. Play with your toys. Can I borrow, I'm sorry, can I borrow you for a second? Sure. Could you repeat what you just did? Because I want to show people something right out of it. I want, can you try, because you just did something right out of our kata. Go ahead. Here. Now, what was your next motion? Um, I, did you see what he just did? No. What, here's the back fist. See, he peeled the thing right off. We have this motion. One, two. And you just, you came in like this and you, you were on top of it. Uh, it's, just, it, it's right in our form. Cool. Yeah, I was just waiting to see you do that motion, see if you would. <laughs> yeah, well, which you did really automatically. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do in fighting. In fighting is where I want to go from here if we've got time. And we'll play. Okay. Okay, okay, so practice that just a couple more times. Practice finishing out of it. Matter of fact, trade partners. Play with me, have fun get today. And preferably someone with a really different body type than the guy you've been playing with. Playing with so there's one more entry. I wanted to get the inviting strikes. It's not going to happen. Um, this one will look very similar to the first, but it's not. And there's there's a little secret goodie in here, and we'll talk about that. What this is set up for is the guy going, 
come get me. Okay, I don't want to come get me. Okay, I, I'm paid to or I would never do that. And go ahead and, and stay in that stance for a second. Okay, crossing this distance is one of the things I don't want to do. Now, if he's coming at me, I go to one of the ones we just did. But this is a guy who's defensive. He's waiting for me to move. First cheat is I try to get him talking. Okay. And it's, um, let's see. Looking for Bill. You can get him talking easy. Okay. <laughs> is Bill have good punches? Yeah. 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 Okay. Set up. Okay. You guys listen to his voice. Talk to me and then punch while you're talking. Hold the conversation. No, 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 no. Hold the conversation. Hold the conversation. Just, just hold the conversation. It's not unless you aren't hitting at me. But try to punch while you're talking without a tone in your voice before you do it. I'm going to kick I your ass. Really good weather today, and I'm trying to get it. You hear, hear it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have tried practicing this, and I have not yet run into anybody, and I can't do it myself that I can talk and punch without a little giving my voice before I do it. You have to switch brains. Your brain doesn't like talking and fighting at the same time. I just, it just doesn't seem to do that. So sometimes I will, I will scream. That seems to work just fine. I will yell, get on the ground, you know, and some other things um, while jumping on someone. That works really well because sometimes that makes their brain freeze. But come on, we're still going to use you. I like big guys. Um, I'm going to try to get him talking. And the motion, while he's talking, is almost just like a handshake. Same foot, same hand. To here. Okay, he's much bigger than I am. He's much stronger. Okay. Okay. This is the magic leverage point. If you can get a hand behind that elbow. Does anyone do chi sao? Yeah. Okay, next time we're doing chi sao, you do a little, it's a little wrist it's sensitivity good. thing. Yeah. Just for the heck of it, move up and start working his elbow. Okay, play that. Switch from sensitivity to movement. Zin fighting, that's one of the most effective things you do when it gets when it gets to here. If you can control the elbows, you control his whole upper body. If you control his elbows and his knees, he's done. Okay, we're not gonna have time to practice this. But set up, and all this is as calm as possible, sir. The handshake. Don't everyone that does karate tries to do this when they do it. It shortens it up a lot. It's here, directly on the back of the elbow. And again, it's like getting behind it. it works really, really well. We're done. Um, thank you.